Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a meeting minutes template in Microsoft Word. So let us get in. If you want to create something just like this, as you can see over here, I'm going to take you through all the steps. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is you want to open a new blank document and we want to start out with a title. Now, if you go over to the insert and you travel over to the right hand side and tap on quick parts, you will find something called document property right so once you're in document property you're going to go ahead and um, you are going to look for title and this is what will be entered in over here so you'll enter your title in um, each and every time you would like to create a new uh, meeting minutes so you want to then go into insert again and you want to look for date and time and you want to enter the date and time over here. Now, when you um, enter your date and time, what you will be doing here is um, aligning your date and time to the right hand side, which is just underneath this title and you want to choose the format and then you want to tap on update automatically which means you will not have to update the um, date and the time every single time you use this template it'll literally just update on its own so if you see it says 1759 and down over here on my device it is now also 1759 so this is the current time Getting in to the actual headings and the tables here, you can see I have created a table. Um, I've got six columns down and I've got two rows across. And here I've just got the details of the meeting host, the subject, the facilitator, the note taker, the timekeeper and the attendees. And you can put in all of this information in over here. I've also got the agenda topics. So you have the agenda topics as well as the allowed time per topic, the topic itself, and then whoever is presenting those topics. And then we have the space for our discussions as well as conclusions. And then I've got the action times, responsible person per action time. And then I've got a deadline, right? Which will be, of course, a date and a time. And then right at the bottom, I've got observers, resource personnel, and then any special notes that I need to add in there. Now, the thing about this is you can really customize this the way that you want so that you can build it according to your very own needs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this um, in the description below. So if you need to use it, you can use it and customize it according to your needs. All you can do, of course, um, is tap on each and every one of these um, tables. You can go over to layout and table design. You can customize the color of the um, actual uh, table. You can customize um, maybe the words, the headings that are in here. You can customize the date format and you can customize pretty much everything else that you need to. One of the other things that I did here is to try and use as much of the page as possible is I went to layout and I went over to margins and I selected narrow. Now this allows me to compare to this use more of the um, the sheet so that I'm not using any I'm not losing any wasted space on the sides over here. And of course, I have some additional space here. If you would like to then also just um, uh, change the size of each one of these rows and columns, you can just go up to the uh, table design and layout. And here they have the height and the width, and you can actually change that if you'd like. So if you want to make that one a little bit bigger than all the rest of it, or if you would like to make even this one a little bit bigger than the rest of them, you can do so. Um, this one as well, you can just go like that and there you are still in one page and you have more space within those uh, rows and those columns. If this was helpful, ladies and gentlemen, drop us a big old thumbs up. We will see you in another amazing video. Cheers for now.